Hi everyone, welcome back to Mineral City TV. I'm your host, Raymond Hall. Well, we talked earlier about what's new here at Mineral City and some of the new buildings and features that we've got going on, but I know most of you are really here to see the minerals. So we're gonna stop in with my good friend, Robert Rosenblatt. Most of you know him as Rocco, but he's got some really exciting new stuff to show you. Let's go on and talk to him. Howdy, Rocco. Howdy, Ray. Thanks for joining us, as always. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, you and where you're from and what you brought here to Tucson. Okay. Robert Rosenblatt, better known Rocco Rosenblatt. Um, I'm from New York State. Uh, most of the time lived up in the Catskill Mountains, and then I uh, spent some time in North Adams, Massachusetts, where I've established a warehouse studio, and now living primarily in Adams, New York which is up by, uh, with my fiance, Aaron Norris, and that's up by Watertown, New York, near Lake Ontario, which is about 45 minutes from the zinc mine in Belmont, New York. Pretty convenient that you're that close to uh, with that all something. the excitement going on over there. So that, that uh, proximity has been very helpful for me to be able to access material as it was coming out by miners in the beginning. Absolutely. Who just, they just encountered pockets and uh, it's been kind of an unprecedented occurrence of this quality of material coming out of the Belmont, New York region from right. the last remaining zinc mine. Well, we'll get to those calcites in just a second, but you can't walk into this room without noticing this incredible shelf of Ahoy in quartz. Not something you see too much every day. And we're gonna real quick just show you this monster that's in the back, because I don't think I've seen a larger, better specimen in person myself. And I think you all should get a good look at it. That it, is a large double terminated aquamarine, uh, aquamarine, <laughs> ahoite in quartz from uh, Messina mine in South Africa, best one I've ever had. Uh, incredible, because they don't often come double terminated and in this kind of condition. No, that's an absolutely beautiful piece. And I, I'm, I'm gonna take it off your hands here for just a Thank second. You. it's heavy. And just give it a quick spin. It is just amazing. And as nice as it is, let's talk about some calcites, because that's what we're here to talk about. We're going to hand this one off and not try and get it back in there now. And let's move over to one of your several ball mat cases that you have here. I'm going to step out of the way. Rocco, could you open that up for us? Sure. So Merrick could get in there and get well, some... Well, I would if I had the key. Oh, that was poor planning on our part. Give us just one second, everyone. Merrick, why don't you come in and just show them some of the stuff that's going on. Just beautiful shelves of calcites, all from different pockets. The lavenders have been the hit. Everyone loves purple calcites. All right, Just an go. amazing display. So while we're doing that, Rocco, can you tell us about when these were being found for, for at the first at first? I think in probably maybe late 2022 or early 2023 they began finding good amounts of calcites, and particularly uh, these dark purples here came out in around 223 from the 4051 level. So they were getting down pretty deep, and they encountered this pocket, which was fairly large, whereas the one in the corner back there came out in one of the first pockets, if not the first, from a different ore body. That was from the Newfold ore body, which they're not working these days because of some technical issues going on there. They moved over to the lower Mahler ore body and began encountering these other calcites. All the, these five pieces here all came from, or I should say these four, all came from the lower Mahler ore body. This came from the same pocket as that one. And when he's talking about, you know, when he says the 4051 level, for those that don't know, he's actually talking about how many feet these miners are underground. It's an active zinc mine, and they're about 4,000 feet. Well, they started finding these just under 4,000 feet 
below ground. Now they're at 4065, I believe. 4075. 4075. Maybe even deeper. <laughs> they're running, and there's another area called the main decline around 4075 that might be deeper than that, but they call it the main decline. So along with the calcites, they're finding other minerals, including um, pyrite, sphalerite, quartz, uh, barite? And barite, and now and also, hydrite. if Mary could show us this big cluster on the bottom, this is a, just a giant cluster of anhydrite. You know, definitely different from what you're normally seeing out of the mine, and really, really cool and exciting to see. So yeah. we're going to pop over to this next uh, case, Rocco. Oh, we do have one good anhydrite in here to show you. Forgot about that. This is really unprecedented as far as anhydrite crystals go. The deep saturation of color, the twinning, the zoning, they are really, really something special. So we're going to put this back. And I think we should jump over to the other case and look at some one sphalerites. With, one with barite in there. I'll show I think there's one okay. over there too, isn't there? Yeah, mm. on the third shelf there. Yeah, okay. So let's get on the top first. Well, let's look at some of these sphalerites. And we saw some of these last year, um, and they hit more stuff this year. So tell us about those, Rocco. Yeah, some of the, this, these were from the earlier find at around 39 or 3,800, somewhere in between they encountered these uh, yellow and honey-colored sphalerites, and then subsequently there's one in the corner that came from the lower, de the main decline or 4075. Can you pull out one or two and show us a little bit of a close-up of I you can. know both pockets this so is, we could see a good comparison of the two? This is the newer pocket. Mm, Got to get it in there a little bit under the light. There we go. Beautiful color, a crazy luster on those. This, this was a this was encased in halite, and they had to dissolve the halite away. This particular matrix is sturdy enough that it held together. There were other matrix pieces that I had that when I dissolved the hay halite from the top, it also was in the matrix and it all fell apart. I wasn't too happy when that occurred. Okay, so you're going to have to show them my favorite piece, and you know which All one right. it is up on this there. This is Ray's favorite. <laughs> this came from 3,900 foot level. Not just a stunning representation of these gem yellow sphalerites on quartz matrix. Yeah, that's pirate. been my favorite for quite some time. So one more thing before we hop out of that case here is you said something about a barite association. Can yes, you show us one of those? Can, I can show you. Here's one with fragmented bar barites. You can see they existed over here on this gem calcite. And then we have one over here that has a terminated crystal on it. That is beautiful, great association. The contrast of the white against the lavender. What a great association in this pocket. Now these are all beautiful and special, but there's still one more case we want to show you here before we go on. It is really some special pieces. Some of the best found in any of the pockets and Rocco has them all over here, beautifully displayed. So Rocco, tell us a little bit about those while Merrick scans through and shows them just the color, the size, the luster, they've got it all. All, all the crystals in this case came out of the 4051 level pocket. It's a giant pocket, it was exciting. I've spent some time in it. Uh, there were, probably goes like 20 feet in three different, 20, 25 feet three different directions and uh, p is producing for now a variety of crystals and which we'll see how long it continues because they're mining for zinc and they are going to go through that area and eventually will not be able to go back to it because in 
The only way you can, the reason you can extract these crystals is because they're, they're creating an atmosphere that miners can work, which, which is by forcing air inside the tunnels. And when they get, as they move forward, they change the, where the air is being forced in. And what you have now is air that you can uh, work with, but later on in time, when they move further in the mine, they, uh, they won't have the air and you won't be able to get back to this place. So then we can see Merrick here panning over Rocco's lovely thumbnail case filled with not only thumbnails, but beautiful miniature specimens. And it's a great case because what's unfortunate is that there aren't a lot of smaller gem specimens coming out of these pockets so far. It's been, you know, a lot of larger pieces. And uh, so it's great to see some beautiful little gems like that. And as we scroll down to the bottom, you're going to start to see here some of these really special new anhydrite crystals with that purple zoning and great stuff going on with those. And as we wrap up talking about those anhydrites, I hear you've got something special to show us. Yeah, I've got, this is a, a, one of the anhydrites that I saved. I have sold some of the top, top things, you know, kind of Im immediately, but I did save a few and I'll have them on display at the main show in a not for sale case of and one of the personal, showcase displays. Yes, with a personal collection of Aaron Norris and myself. And here is one of the main pieces. You see a calcite sitting in the middle and lovely terminations. And that's the only one with a calcite crystal like it's that. It's the I only believe, one right? I know of that has a calcite perched like that in the center of the anhydrite. Really an unprecedented find. Beautiful piece, See Rocco. That, that kind of uh, fibrous look there as well. Pretty cool. Here's the backside of it. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, Rocco, you have once again raised the bar <laughs> at New York Calcites here. I want to thank you so much for joining us. I, I work closely with Rocco, so this was an easy interview for me, and it makes me happy to help promote him. Mineral City, show opens Friday night, but you do not have to wait until then. Rooms are open now. You can come down, mingle, look at some minerals, and have some fun. We'll see you tomorrow with a couple more shows and more dealers and minerals. Thanks, everyone.